Good morning. It's brand new build week. And I think I'm gonna be by myself today. This is Monday. Jaylena usually comes out here and helps me on Mondays, but she has something she has to do. Um, anyways, some changes are kind of happening. So in the last video, you guys kind of seen, we're gonna do a drawer underneath the fridge on the floor, but I was splitting the propane. So I was gonna have the heater, which is that guy right there, over there. And then I was gonna have the hot water heater and things like that over here. But I'm thinking that I'm gonna put all the propane on that side. More weight to one side again. But we're using a Propex HS2800. This is just like more in the center and putting the heat closer to the beds at night. And then we'll be able to move the vent like if we're more in the living area or move it more into the back. The heat source will be more centered. All the propane's on one side. Anyways, that's what we're kind of, I'm trying to figure out. So basically today, we're gonna be trying to mount that Propex heater and then working on our little stand for the uh, for the fridge closet section. I think we just need to get, get into it. Y'all tweaking on this heater just took all day long. <laughs> I usually install a Chinese diesel heater in the buses that I sell. They're great, they're 150 bucks. They work pretty good, right? But the Propex HS2800 is like double the BTU of everything. So this is a bigger bus than I'm normally building, right? So some people put a diesel heater in the back and diesel heater in the front, right? And I was trying to eliminate all that drama by putting this big giant thing in here. It's like 10,000 BTU, 9,500 for all you math people out there are gonna correct me. But uh, that, in theory, should heat this entire bus. And it's like kind of pretty much in the center of the build, so near the bedroom. So at night it should be able to keep us warm and then we could tilt the vent in the living area. Anyways, the Propex heaters are imported from Britain, right? Uh, so they have British threads. I remember I installed one of these in Scullion on my first bus and it was like a week of like figuring out the adapters and blah, blah, blah. And it was an absolute nightmare. But once I got it actually hooked up, it's the best heater I've ever used. Best heater I've ever seen. Thermostat controlled, it'll kick on and hold, and hold the temperature. It's propane, not diesel. Kinda nice. Burns cleaner, lasts forever. So that's what we're putting in here. I cut the holes today and put some high heat silicone in the wood just in case water penetrates up there. And I thought that I could use that silicone to seal it from the bottom because there's like this little gap, but there's not. So I just ordered some like fire proof um, spray foam and I'm gonna seal it back up from underneath with that. But I'm not gonna be driving this thing in the rain right now. Uh, the other thing is I was talking about that English Brit British to US adapter. I thought I figured it out and ordered all the pieces and I was wrong. So did some deep dive Googling, found the thing I'm supposed to buy, I think. So I'm still trying to figure out the thread. I'm just trying to make it to a 3 8 flare because that's everything else I'm using on the propane on this side. 
wish me luck. I figured it out three years ago. Got to figure it out again, but I can't wait to get the heater. So it's mounted, holes are high heat silicone, waiting on some fireproof spray foam sprayed up in the bottom, but I'm still, I ordered some more adapters, hoping one of them will work. And hopefully we can hook this thing up to propane and get her going. So that's it for the day. I'm gonna clean up. It was like mentally taxing. I probably just talked for 10 minutes. See you tomorrow. We do have some walnut in this pile back here. We got some KD walnut in this pile here. I reckon it does really good outside. It's like walnut and maple. I think we've decided on the problem is when you have so many options like it it makes you crazy right he had some maple over there that was gorgeous I really wanted it to work but it's just not gonna work we're not looking for a bunch of work, right? I think this is a cedar. I think we've decided on this cedar. We're gonna try and get this cedar and another little thin piece of cedar over there for like little different things. For, we're gonna try and make a deal. But I think this is the one, because it's pretty straight, right? We like this one, but it's got too much going on. So this is my favorite piece. I think it's absolutely gorgeous and it has so much character. But measuring it, I think like that end, it just gets a little too, um, it's not exactly wide enough. It's like just on the line. But I really like this one too, because if you look at it, it kind of looks like our flooring and it's really straight on this side. It just kind of seems like the perfect one that we've looked at today. There's definitely some other really beautiful pieces of wood out here, but this is cedar. It's lighter than all the other ones. It's just a really nice, nice piece so this is my favorite and i'm really happy that this is what we picked out yep so we're gonna get this one and then that piece over there and uh try and hit the road jack get some lunch get some lunch we're having a we're having a date a date lunch today <laughs> okay someone's gonna find these <laughs> got it yeah i'm gonna go in so i'm not slide Dude. I, I started building it, and then I decided I could make 25.25. Hello, welcome to Isaac's vlog. I don't know if this is the beginning of a new video. It is. <laughs> okay, well, it's a new day. I just helped Isaac cut this piece. We're gonna cut some more pieces, but it's almost Christmas, you guys. Mama has some Christmas stuff to take care of, so Levi and I are gonna run into town take care of some Christmas errands but before we do that we want to make Isaac's life a little bit easier and help him cut down these gigantic pieces of plywood and then I'll take it from there mine back with a brand new bus building day. Uh -huh. We want to show you something though. <laughs> we got You're donuts. giving away the evidence. We got donuts and, and, and sugary coffees and we're gonna sneaky eat them. <laughs> it's not really sneaky giving it away, but yeah. We're gonna sneaky eat them. <laughs> <laughs> Soon we 
Ember came to give us her opinion on, on the cabinetry because we're, we're trying to get a game plan. <laughs> uh, so I think Ember decided that we're going to do the sink kind of as far as we can on this side and this oven kind of as far as we can on this side. And then I was thinking that we were going to do the, the kitchen uh, cabinetry from the edge of this window to that and then get more room for seating. But Ember said that she wants to push, she wants more counter space. So we're gonna push the kitchen counter to about here and only do um, seating over the wheel well, basically. So that was what Ember decided. Ooh, wow, look at you. Over here. That's not good. That would be all bad. How, how does Google Drive work? Mom wants to I don't use Google. Files. Ember and I came to visit, but I'm not camera ready, so. <laughs> oh, Ember. Ember got to see her room? Yeah, come first check out time. your room, Emberina. Look, this is where you're going to be hanging out. This is your little cubby hole. Ember's nook. Ember's nook. Oh, just so everybody knows, we checked the fridge. We can change the doors. Just so everybody knows. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ember's gonna have uh, front access to the heat. Like, she's gonna get the heat before anyone else in the house. Uh. She, yeah, look how much stuff Ember's got going on. She's got more than we got in our room. Got this little nook here. If you guys have ideas, we're still debating on how we want to make this more like a crib for now. Something we can put up, but also take down. Yeah. Cause it ain't gonna be forever, and we like being able to sit here and chill with her. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Maybe like some kind of a net or mesh or I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Cause it's like even if we did something pushing out of there, it's not long enough. I mean, like you know, something on a slider. Yeah, I thought about that too. But it's not long enough. Short of us framing in, you know, something else. I don't want to do too much though. Yeah, I don't know. We'll get there. We'll, we'll get figure there. it out. Ember, do you like your room? Do you like it? I think she likes it. Someone just ran the bullshit. Good morning. I realize I have not really been filming much, honestly. I don't even know what I've left off on updating. It's just been brutal in the cold trying to build and. <laughs> yeah. You know. Having to deal with the wood that we're doing outside in the bay. So we did, we did, we did finish our goal. Our goal yesterday was to finally finish the fridge section, right? Which we did. It's not 100% done, but it's framed in, which is what we're trying to do. We're trying to frame in all the cabinetry, and then we'll go back and kind of finish it. Our goal today is kind of kind of hefty. We basically want to frame in the rest of this side. So we want to frame in all the kitchen, and it's going to get a little tricky with the battery bank and stuff, and then the couch. We don't have any more of them crazy wall angles, so it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, but that's our goal for the day. Sweet. I mean, I feel like it's a pretty big mission, but also not, you know, at the same time. Oh, yeah. So, that's the mission. Finish framing it out, and then then we could start doing some finishing stuff. So, let's get into it. Hello. Is there, any, is there anything you would like to say to the people? Hello. That's all you got? That's all I got. <laughs> Enjoy the vid. <laughs> but, we're building the wall, and then we could build the box. We could attach a piece of ply between once we have our walls. Oh, I see, I see. See what I'm saying? Yeah. So and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our walls and then start putting it together. Okay, so now how tall is we would the build, oven? We would build a bracket and there. We're getting too far ahead. Right now, we just need these three walls because we figure all that out as we go. Because okay. then we'll figure out how far we're gonna come over, do a brace. <clears throat> how far we're gonna come over, do a brace. But we need this stuff first. 
Bro, look at that shot. Look at that shot. <laughs> look at me being a good little YouTuber, setting up the camera. <laughs> look at me go. Look at it, you fail. Look at me go. Yeah, we have to be inside of that regardless. So go ahead and push that in. Because that's how long our cabinetry or our... Uh, yeah, the, 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 the slab. Yeah, yeah. Remember? Yeah. When I measured that? Yeah. came to uh, supervise, didn't she, baby? <laughs> <laughs> I'm burnt out, y'all. Uh, Jaylene and Ember did come to hang out or check on me. It's Hi. past when I usually end. I was trying really hard to get this kitchen section done so I could cut the counter tomorrow. I just didn't get there. I tried real hard, but I was making mistakes. And this is $86 plywood, so I'm just tired. I mean, you did a good job, babe. You got a lot done today. Yeah. So, I'm gonna end this video here. So, hopefully, this is the end of the build week. I don't remember where we started. But, uh, yeah, if this is your first time showing up here, and you like bus stuff, and anything bus related, consider subscribing, because that's all we do here. If you're a long time subscriber, you already know we got all that love for you. So thank you guys for hanging out. We're stoked to get this bus done for our family to enjoy it and live in it. And that, that. So I built a lot of buses to sell, as you guys know, but this is the bus I'm building for my family. And I'm so excited to have a home for this little one and Jaylena. So thanks for hanging out. I'll see y'all next week. Peace.